latest wildfire, the Monument Fire, destroying dozens of homes already and forcing evacuations right now. This fire is burning in the Coronado National Forest near Hereford. That's just south of Sierra Vista along the Arizona-Mexico line. And so far, 9,300 acres have been lost, 40 homes destroyed, only 17% containment. Jennifer Waddell from our sister station in Tucson begins our team coverage tonight on Arizona's wildfires. Steve and Katie, we are here at Incident Command Post for the Monument Fire. We are at Valley View Elementary School. We're actually about eight miles from the fire, which you can see glowing just over my shoulder there. We're also on the evacuation line. Anything between us and that mountain under mandatory evacuation orders. Uh, we can tell you that uh, firefighters are confident they are going to get this thing down, but they know they are in it for the long haul. We have about 400 firefighters on this one from states around the country. They tell us that they know this is a long job. They work about half a day up on that mountain and come back down to get some rest. We have 14 days on for them, two days off. That means they work two weeks straight and then get a couple days break. We talked to a couple of firefighters who were getting ready to head up the mountain earlier this evening to do battle with the monument fire. So you're getting ready to go out on your first shift tonight. Uh, what are your feelings, expectations as you get ready to head to the line? Um, as a crew, we're really excited. This is our first dispatch of the year, and, and uh, there's a lot of adrenaline and a lot of excitement to uh, get out there and really um, put our nose down and uh, you know do whatever we have to do in order to uh, get the upper hand on the fire. And you guys have tight quarters, but this is how you roll. I mean, tell me how you get prepared to fight fires like this one and, and get some good sleep. Well, a lot of us m monitor um, uh, websites and you know when the numbers start to go up and fires start to get big we get packed and um, I've got a big duffel bag that I keep things in that don't ever come out of that duffel bag stuff like socks you know um, shower supplies tooth extra toothbrushes things like that just stay in there and that's you know what I roll with so I use a military grade bag because I don't like getting sweaty and having nylon stuck to me and I have to peel myself out of it like a banana in the morning. Do you have to kind of mentally look at these conditions as you're just camping? Yeah, it's like Boy Scouts for adults. Yeah, for, for sure. Um, the food's good. They, they do a wonderful job of taking care of us out here. They understand the importance of... Uh, you know, running everybody through this with a clean bill of health and everybody coming out with, you know, all their arms and limbs and fed, fat, happy. Great attitude, great morale so far, considering these firefighters have about 9,300 acres of blaze in front of them. The good news, though, is that they have it about 17% contained. That's huge progress, considering they were at zero containment earlier in the day. More good news, the winds have died down significantly, much calmer than it was earlier today. However, the fire bosses here tell me this thing tends to flare up around midnight, 1 a.m., so they know this is going to be another long night on the mountain. Steve and Katie, back to you.